Hello bakers and welcome to Upside Down. Today we are going to be checking how to create such an amazing effect inside Unreal Engine 4. As you can see it's a very interesting effect where we have a geometry and when we look through we can uh, see the outline and the world uh, that we have created in a different way. So uh, I'll show you how to create such a material and how to apply it to your scenes. Now, without further ado, let's roll the intro. So first, let's uh, have a little bit uh, more look into the material and how exactly it uh, works. So uh, if I remove this uh, mesh and just drag a new cube on the scene, apply the same material, and after that scale this cube, you can see that uh, now looking through the geometry of uh, the cube, we get uh, the effect. So this is uh, an outline, but also we have uh, these uh, surfaces that uh, they have a little bit of a gradient uh, to them. So uh, we can move around and also we will check a bit later that uh, we can actually change the color of uh, how exactly the surfaces look like so they might not be uh, completely uh, black but instead we can uh, do them blue or uh, any other color uh, now let's uh, go back and get a sphere on the scene and start working on the material so uh, i'm going to create a new uh, material we're gonna call this uh, master material effect uh, outline and let's open this one in here. So first thing that uh, we're going to start is to change the type of the material. So in order for us to be able to look through the material, we need to have a translucent version of it. So in by default, we have the opaque, but uh, we're going to change that to translucent. And now the next step that uh, we're going to do is uh, start building the logic behind it. So uh, we're going to start by taking the scene texel size. What this node uh, does is, uh, if you know about the texel size, it's uh, basically allowing us to say what is the texture uh, density, like how many pixels and everything we have uh, in height and uh, width. And this is uh, information that in this case, because it's a scene texel size, it's being taken from the scene. So we're gonna uh, take this and this is something we're gonna use so that we have the effect of uh, our outline becoming a little bit uh, smaller in depth. And we're gonna take this one and we're gonna multiply it. In a second, we're gonna hook uh, our B output to exactly what we're gonna multiply it. So instead of a parameter, we're gonna be using uh, offset. And this way we're gonna have a different type of values for uh, the different depths that we have in the scene. So uh, next thing that we're gonna take is screen position. So this is uh, an important one because we are gonna take the viewport and the UVs from the viewport that uh, and the way that we are looking at the moment currently into the scene. And this one we are going to first mask. Let's make a component mask. We just want two of the channels. So just the red and the green one. And those two, we gonna add them together. And then we also would like to get the scene depth. And that's uh, pretty much everything that uh, we need in terms of uh, logic so far. So if we hook this thing into our uh, emissive color, you will see that uh, everything will become like super bright because at the moment our values are um, like all the way up. So everything is uh, just completely uh, emissive. So we're gonna need to start adding a little bit of values. Uh, in order to add more depth, as I mentioned to the scene, we're gonna make uh, four copies of this. So just uh, four copies like that. And as I mentioned earlier, we're gonna use a blur sample offset. 
And here on the Boa sample offset, we have different values that are already preset. So if we want, we can of course set up uh, parameters and do these values on our own. If we want to do this, uh, we're just gonna need to use a vector to parameter. So it's going to do pretty much the same as uh, this one. But here we already have this uh, function. And if we would like to edit it, we can actually double click and come over here and do all the edits uh, that are needed for us. So uh, I'm going to just grab all of this and hook them into B like that. And now we need to start adding all of this together. So the first two are going to be added together and then the second two as well. And then we're going to add those two uh, together also. And what we need is to grab one of these because now this is uh, the logic which is for our outline. So we have a different size of outlines for the depth depending on the scene. And then we're going to make this one which is going to be for the base. So after we have uh, our scene depth, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply it. And here we're gonna put a parameter. So we're gonna say this um, base emissive. So this is uh, all the surfaces that are not the edges, how emissive they should be. And we're gonna subtract this. So I'm gonna make it on minus four. And then we want to get add, get all of this and add them into B. And this thing is going to go here into color. So you can see that already we are getting uh, a little bit of a weird effect, I would say, uh, looking into the viewport. But uh, we will now have a look how it looks into the scene. So let's uh, save this and apply the material onto our sphere. So as you can see, we get a very, very bright scene at the moment. So we already have the effect that uh, this sphere is translucent, we see through it, but uh, we have this uh, very bright effect which is happening uh, across the whole scene. So what we need to do is uh, here you can see that on B we don't have a parameter, so we can just create a vector too. And I'm just going to leave it on zero, hook it up over here, and now you can see that we already get a lot different result here into the scene. So if I go back, we have now our outline working as it was initially what I showed you. So how can we get it even further and add more functionality even to uh, our material? We're gonna come over here and we're gonna create a vector tree. This is by holding the number three on the keyboard and clicking one time on the viewport. And this thing, I'm going to hook it into our base color. I will convert this into parameter and call it base color. Okay. And another thing that we can do is uh, we're gonna take one more thing and emissive color. So we're gonna make this like that and then I will multiply it like this and put it into the emissive. So this is going to be our base color so we can change how uh, everything looks into the scene. So at the moment you can see that uh, we don't have any emissive on the edges because it's completely dark color and only we are taking the depth of the scene. But Let's make a material instance. So I will make it like this glow effect. This is a material instance and we did a material instance in order for us to be able to drag it on the side and change the parameters uh, dynamically while we are still looking into the viewport. So I'm just going to enable all of this. And now if we turn on our emissive, we can see that we can change that. And as well, we can start changing our outline colors. And also if we change the base, we can start changing the base planes and what colors they are. Thank you for joining me in today's video. I hope that this tutorial was useful for you. Subscribe and follow my channel for more tips and tricks regarding game development.